Assalamu alaikum guys, this is Azam with Investify.com. First of all, Eid Mubarak to every single one of you. I hope you receive this video in the best of health. So let's dive right in. We're looking at S&P 500 here. And one of the things that I want to show you is that obviously the past few days right here have been kind of consolidating. It's been staying within this range. And it might even go down for a while so we are anticipating that but there is something that I want to show you and this is a strategy that has on average given a return of over 10% per year for at least the last 38 years and the strategy is simple the green line that you see that's following that is the 200 day moving average okay so whenever one whenever the price closes above the 200 day moving average like over here in the corner you can expect to buy the stock or yeah whichever stock it is and there's a good chance it'll continue moving up so you could even buy it over here when it came close to it and then it started moving back up now if it goes below it that's a good time to sell meaning take a look right here and this is in 2008 June 23rd the week and that's the day when it closed below it and then a few days it went down and then it was consolidating and then boom just then went down all the way here so you could have literally sold it around a hundred and twenty seven dollars and you would have saved yourself a good 50% drop in the market value so this is an interesting strategy the reason why I'm showing this is because people have concerns right now about the market and as you can see the last few days the market's been churning it's not moving up but perhaps showing signs of weakness so it's important that we keep an eye on what's happening with the 200 day moving average what's happened what's happening with this line here the other thing that we've started doing is we're taking into consideration a lot of economic indicators such as the yield curve which is the measure of the short-term and long-term interest rates so what we're seeing right now is whenever the yield curve has shown that the short-term interest rates are higher than the long term it's an issue because what that takes is that within two to six quarters the market will go into a recession currently we're doing perfectly fine we don't have any of those issues um, showing up like the interest rates aren't close to each other so those are two major economic indicators that we are looking at that usually provide a good idea as to what might happen with the markets now let's take a look at the gold index real quick Okay, now we're seeing that gold has been, it's above the 200 moving average. But let's take a look at the weekly here. It's below the 200. So I feel like it's consolidating for a while. It might drop within the $19 range or it might start to go back up. But right now it feels like gold might drop a little bit more. Gold is a great long-term investment for hedging purposes so if you just want to store some cash that's a great place to do that now let's take a look at a couple of stocks that we are keeping in mind for the coming week and the coming months as well one of them is the COTY we would be looking to buy this stock once it goes above, I would say, around $19.75. That would be a good buy because then from there on, it's breaking out of this kind of a consolidation it's been within the past, for the past few months or since last December. And once that happens, this stock has the potential to go over for a while 
that it can it can reach a, you know much higher values the other one that we are looking at is a d r o and this is a biotech company and i believe that this would be a good buy at around 11 11 dollars and 35 cents so we'll see how it performs today this has been a slow week the last couple of weeks have been slow for us but we had some really good opportunities in the stock market such as our NUS stock has done exceptionally well and so has the SWFT sometimes it's best for us to just stay put and wait for the opportunities to come to us so SWFT has been moving well and we'll be keeping an eye out for that the other one is Garmin. It seems like Garmin is dropping. So we might see how it performs today. And on basis of that, we might just close this position for now. So that's really what we have, guys, right now. We are, we are keeping an eye on where the market is headed in, in the next few days and a few weeks. And on basis of that, we will make some more recommendations of which stocks to buy for your long-term investment plans. All right, well, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Take care and have a great day. Assalamu alaikum.